Have you ever wondered how a pregnancy test works? Well, in this video, we're going to look inside a home pregnancy test and follow the process through from start to finish. Hi, and welcome back to another A-Level Biology video. Pregnancy tests rely on antibodies. These antibodies are made in the lab, uh, usually using animals like mice or rabbits. They work on the basis that if a woman is pregnant, she will have a certain hormone in her urine called HCG. The pregnancy test uses antibodies that are able to bind to this hormone HCG to find out whether the woman is pregnant or not. Let's see how it works. A pregnancy test works on the basis that if a woman is pregnant, she will have a hormone called HCG in her urine. HCG stands for human chorionic gonadotropin. On the pregnancy test, the first area we'll look at is the application area. This area is full of HCG antibodies attached to blue beads. When the urine is applied to the application area, any HCG hormone will bind to the antibodies on the beads. The liquid then moves up the stick, a bit like how ink travels up chromatography paper. The next area we get to is the test strip. This is a line with more antibodies for HCG on it. These antibodies are not attached to blue beads. They are completely stuck down to the paper and we say they are immobilized and they can't move. So when the liquid arrives here, any HCG hormone which is now attached to the blue beads, will bind to the immobilized antibodies, stopping the beads moving any further and producing a blue line that is visible through the test window. This is a positive result. Any beads that did not have HCG bound to them will not be stopped at the test window and will keep traveling up the stick and out of sight. So if there's no blue line, it's a negative result. So now over to you. Can you think of a reason that someone might get a false positive result on a pregnancy test? That is, the test tells them they're pregnant when they are not or a reason for a false negative, being told by the test that they are not pregnant when really they are. If you can come up with suggestions for these, it shows you really understand how the pregnancy test works. So that's it for this video. And it's also the end of the whole series on cell biology. I hope you found them useful to revise from and we're going to go on to the next topic, which is biological molecules and all the chemistry behind life. As ever, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.